Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vin PF, and on today's episode, we've got door number 23 of the really good whiskey company, Whiskey Advent Canada 2021. Now, if you've been following along, and I hope you have, um, otherwise, um, this is a pretty random video for you if you have not been following with the rest of them. But um, you might have seen yesterday we had another double, the second double of this box. Bit of a shame, bit of a disappointment, but um, nonetheless, let's move on to day 23 and see what we've got. We've been hoping for a bit of an upstretch on the back end. <laughs> oh, and I think we've got it, my friends. I think we've got it. We have the Rock Island 21 year old. 46.8%. Um, obviously a Douglas Lang. Um, I do get in trouble a lot because I say Douglas Lang quite a lot on my videos. Um, and if I haven't explained that already, it's because I used to work for a company that had a supplier who had Laying, as it's spelt from Douglas Lane, in their title, and they said Lane, L-A-N-E, and it kind of got instilled in my brain. I've been trying to unwrite it, but sometimes I accidentally say Lane still, instead of Lang, Lang. In any case, the uh, Rock Island, um, I have covered this one actually, I covered it, um, I want to say last year, maybe the year before, I got a sample of it from Douglas Lane, and um, I'm a big fan of the entire kind of remarkable regional malts range anyway, uh, especially the Rock Island. The Rock Island and the Big Pete are my kind of two favourites. The uh, Rock Island, um, the Big Pete tends to it's just be Isla, uh, whereas the Rock Island tends to take some influence from the kind of islands. Um, I think it has like Aran, Talisker, probably some Isla in there as well. And I want to say maybe some Orkney, I'm not entirely sure, I can't remember off the top of my head. But on top of the standard remarkable regional malts range, they have some age statements, specials, and things like that. And this is one of those. This is a 21 year old. Um, but let's get straight into it and see what we've got. You know, the, you know it's no added color, non chill filtered, all the things that we love. Oh, I love this thing. It's so good. Uh, I'm not sure how much this goes for these days, but I imagine it's quite expensive. But we're going to have a sip and then we'll talk about the nose again. Mmm. Oh man, oh, it's okay. Let's uh, let's stop enjoying it and give you give you some actual notes. <laughs> but this is one of those ones I can easily get lost in. Now, on the nose, uh, I, I can't remember what I said about this on my video, but it's it's quite um, talisker forward. And what I mean by that, it's got a lot of briny coastal elements to it, some kind of seaweedy vibes to it. But it's obviously got a fair bit of peat to it. I think there is some isla in there, as I said before. Let's get onto the palette and see what we've got. Mm. Oh. It's just so supremely tasty. It's, it it evolves as, as, as it's on your tongue. Lots of kind of peaty, smoky elements on the front end. Peters out into kind of like a charry oak vibe. And gets a bit more coastal as it goes along. Um, yeah, again, I can't remember how much this thing retails for, but I've always said to people, if you've never tried a, uh, a, a Rock Island before, I recommend you go straight in for the uh, for the standard Remarkable Regional Malts range bottling, uh, the No Age Statement one, because it's £35 in the UK. Uh, it's a, a, an utter no-brainer. If you're into those kind of like coastally, semi-smoky, peaty elements, then you you know you shan't be disappointed. And especially at times when you don't want to go for like that big peat, stinky, stinky peat vibes, uh, and you want something a little lighter. Um, I mean, it's not much lighter to be fair, but um, yeah. If you've got the if you've got the uh, the Rock Island already or the Rock Oyster as it used to be called, um, then hitting the 21 year old will be a no brainer if you have that sort of cash. But I'm not entirely sure how much it. Is. I think it was like 100 pound plus. It's very expensive, but um, worth it in my opinion. Worth it in my opinion. Well, in any case, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I shall see you then for the penultimate door opening. Catch you tomorrow.